Are you ready for a yummy food trip across Southeast Asia? I know I am. Come along and experience ASEAN. We close out this series with sweet stuff you can find all over the region. Every country does it a bit differently, but these are desserts and snacks we all love. In the Philippines, their coconut milk pudding is called Ginataang Bilo Bilo. Ah, I just love the sound of that name, Ginataang Bilo Bilo. Now, Bilo Bilo is actually glutinous rice balls. Coconut milk is called Gatak. Now, this dessert is served warm and it comes with uh, sago pearls, black sugar, uh, some yam, and of course, coconut milk. It's I'm like having this warm, gooey mixture in my mouth. Um, it's got the coconut flavour, the uh, sweet sago pearls and the glutinous rice balls remind me of um, like eating moist grapes. And there's this crunchiness that comes from the yam, which is surprising because I was expecting the yam to be mushy, but it's not. Um, see, the Philippines has a lot of coconut and it's no surprise that they like to use coconut milk in their desserts, which makes it simply amazing. Southeast Asia goes bananas over fried bananas, whether there's batter, no batter, chopped, on a stick, or even caramelized. In Indonesia, they take it to the next level with sauces and toppings. I'm gonna try mine right now. Mm. So this is pisang kapok and the bananas are sliced, then fried in a batter and topped with grated cheese, condensed milk and chocolate sprinkles. Which by the way, is a pretty common combination here in Indonesia. Now, as for the banana fritters, it's very soft with a nice crust, which makes for a perfect tea time snack. Right, so I did a bit of asking around, and according to the locals, this place here has some pretty decent tofu or tofu and they also are known for their gelato, so I'm just going to check it out. Borrowing from China's Tohua, silken tofu pudding is everywhere in ASEAN. Over here in Vietnam, we have tofu. So what we do here is, see this beautiful little pudding, sprinkle a bit of ice, Mix it up. Okay. Mmm. It's really sweet. It's got a, like a layer of caramel um, over it. Kind of like a flan. Okay, and for our second one. So this is also like the uh, traditional tohua. But this one comes with cha seeds, uh, grass jelly, and uh, tapioca pearls as well. Of course, this is really, really sweet as well. So if you have a sweet tooth just like me, you will like this. Thai shaved ice, here I come. This is Cheng Sim Yi. Right, this place started out as a roadside stall more than 50 years ago. And today, after three generations, it has expanded to 30 different outlets across Bangkok. And this is Nam Kang Sai. I'm gonna dig in. Mmm! Whoa! Brain freeze! 
Now, this is good by itself, the shaved ice. It comes in a ball of ice, as you can see. It's not the flaky kind, but it's even better if you take it with the pieces of bread. Hmm, the bread soaks up the uh, concentrated syrup here, uh, what we call the red sala fruit syrup, and it gives a very strong cordially uh, taste. Right, now, there are variations of this ice shaved dessert. This one comes with um, glass jelly and water chestnut that is made to look like uh, mock pomegranate seeds, and then nata de coco in a bowl of uh, sweet coconut milk. And this one comes with eight different Chinese herbs in longan juice. If you are just overwhelmed by the array of ingredients and toppings that this outlet has, then simply go for the raw mint option and the vendor will just uh, choose the ingredients for you. I've been waiting all day for this. This is Shendo. And you can find it in many places across Southeast Asia, but I'm having mine in Kuala Lumpur. Hmm. The green jelly is actually rice flour, and it gets its color and taste from pandan leaves. The combination of coconut milk and palm sugar syrup is sweet, it's not very strong, and what makes it even better is the addition of durian in it. Now, I do understand that durian can be polarizing. Some people may not like it because of its pungent smell. I've never tried durian with my chendol before, but I love this. I love this a lot, and the durian in my chendol is a perfect way to end my day. Whether you're a sweet tooth, a foodie, or just a curious traveler, We've given you plenty of reasons to go on a Southeast Asia food trip. If you missed any episodes, check out the Eat Experience ASEAN playlist on the Air Asia YouTube channel and don't forget to share it with your family and friends. I'm your host, Karan Hundal. Thanks for joining me on this journey.